Sutra. Although these Mantitus have pure, vast wisdom and their profound and sharp understanding can make decisive choices, their minds are moving like the king of mountains and cannot be overturned like the great sea. There are those who have not practiced long nor yet understood. They practice with consciousness, with not with wisdom. Hearing this, they will doubt and fall into bad paths. I take pity on them and therefore do not speak. Commentary Although these Mantitus have pure, vast wisdom, Vara Treasury Bodhisattva says, Although most of the Mantitus in this Dharma assembly are pure and undefined and have great wisdom, and their profound and sharp understanding can make decisive choices, they also have the capacity which is durable, bright, and sharp due to their profound prana wisdom. Their minds are moving like the king of mountains. Each one of the great bodhisattvas has a, has a mind which does not move like Mount Sumeru, cannot be overturned like the great sea. They cannot be turned over in the same way that no one is able to overturn the ocean. However, there are those who have not practiced long, not yet understood. Within the Great Assembly, there are also those who first gave rise to the thought for Buddhi perhaps 10 or 20 years ago, which is a very short time. They have not yet attained to the understanding which comes from wisdom. They practice with consciousness, not with wisdom. They go along with their discriminating consciousness in what they do and do not use wisdom. To use wisdom is to recognize all states. If one employs consciousness, one merely discriminates states and does not recognize them. Hearing this, they will doubt and fall into bad paths. As soon as they hear about the Dharma doors of the Ten Grounds, they will have doubts and will either fall into the house, the hungry ghosts, and all the animals, the three evil destinies. I take pity on them and therefore do not speak. Since I pity the living beings who are like that, therefore I don't speak. For if I did speak, they would doubt and disbelieve, and that would be their doubt for because you cannot slander the Dharma doors of the Ten Grounds without falling into the Three Evil Destinies. Sutra At that time, Moon of Liberation Bodhisattva again addressed Vara Treasury Bodhisattva, saying, Disciple of the Buddha, I hope you will receive the Buddha's spiritual power and explain in detail these inconceivable dharmas. These people should obtain the thirst commons protection and mindfulness and give rise to faith and receptivity. And why? When one explains the ten grounds, the drama of all bodhisattvas is that way, that they obtain the Buddha's protection and mindfulness. Because they obtain the Buddha's protection and mindfulness, they can be courageous about these grounds of wisdom. And why? These are the Bodhisattvas' most initial practices for accomplishing all Buddha's dharmas. Just as written words which say numerous things are based upon an alphabet, in that alphabet is fundamental to them, and none of them departs from it in the slightest, so to disciple of the Buddha, all Buddha's dramas are based upon the ten grounds, in that the ten grounds are fundamental to them. Through successful cultivation of them, one obtains all wisdom. Therefore, disciple of the Buddha, I wish you would explain them. These people will certainly be protected by the first commons and caused to believe and receive these dharmas. At that time, Moon of Liberation Bodhisattva, wishing to restate his meaning, spoke verses saying, Commentary at that time. Moon of Liberation Bodhisattva again addressed Vara Treasury Bodhisattva, saying, Disciple of the Buddha, I hope you will receive the Buddha's spiritual power. Great Bodhisattva, I wish that you would receive the power of spiritual penetrations of the Buddhas of the Ten Directions and of Shakyamuni Buddha, and explain in detail these inconceivable dharmas, analyzed and described 
is Dharma doors for us. These people should obtain the first commons protection and mindfulness. The people who are here in this Dharma assembly should be protected and remembered by all Buddhas and give rise to faith and receptivity. receptivity. They will have faith and why? When one explains the ten grounds, the drama of all bodhisattvas is that way, that they obtain the Buddha's protection and mindfulness. When all bodhisattvas hear the drama, it should be that way for them. All Buddhas should protect and remember them because they obtain the Buddha's protection and mindfulness. They can be courageous about these grounds of wisdom. They can give rise to great courage. And why? These are the Bodhisattvas' most initial practices. These are Dharma doors which Bodhisattvas cultivate at the very beginning for accomplishing all Buddha's dramas. The Dharma spoken by all Buddhas are produced within the ten grounds and accomplished through them. Just as written words which say numerous things are based upon an alphabet, they all need a basic alphabet. In that alphabet is fundamental to them, and none of them departs from it in the slightest. In the final analysis, not even a minute portion of them is not of the alphabet. So to disciple of the Buddha, all Buddha's dramas are based upon the ten grounds in that the ten grounds are fundamental to them. The drama spoken by all Buddhas all take the ten grounds as their basis. By successful cultivation of them, one obtains all wisdom. If you cultivate the ten grounds to the ultimate point and accomplish the wisdom of the ten grounds, you give rise to all wisdoms. Therefore, disciple of the Buddha, I wish you would explain them. Due to that, great disciple of the Buddha, we all want you to explain them for us. These people will certainly be protected by the first come ones. The people who hear these dramas will definitely be protected and remembered by the Buddhas and caused to believe and receive these dramas. They will offer up their conduct according to them. At that time, Moon of Liberation Bodhisattva, wishing to restate his meaning, spoke verses, saying he repeated in verse form what from what he said before, what he had said before. Sutra, good indeed, disciple of the Buddha, I wish you would proclaim all the grounds of practice to approach and enter Buddhi. Of all the comfortable honored ones throughout the ten directions, none is not proactive of and mindful of the basic rules of wisdom. Secured in them, that wisdom is also fundamental. All the Buddha's dramas are produced from them, just as written words are comprised by alphabets, so too the Buddha's dramas are based upon these grounds. Commentary Good indeed, disciple of the Buddha, moon of liberation, Bodhisattva said, How good you are, you are the Buddha's great disciple. I wish you would proclaim, take pity on all living beings and speak the Dharma doors of the ten grounds, all the grounds of practice to approach and enter Bodhi. Teach us how to tend toward, enter, go along and cultivate the Bodhisattva's path of enlightenment. Of all the comfortable honored ones throughout the ten directions, comfortable honored ones are the Buddhas. None is not proactive of and mindful of the basic rules of wisdom. They always wish to aid and uphold, protect and remember people who hear the Dharma doors of the ten grounds and who cultivate the Dharma doors of the ten grounds because the ten grounds are the basic root of wisdom secured in them. That wisdom is also fundamental. The wisdom derived from cultivating the ten grounds is fundamental to them. All the Buddha's dramas are produced from them. Why are the ten grounds called grounds? It is because they are the foundation of all dramas spoken by the Buddhas, just as written words are comprised by alphabets. Just as when one writes words or characters, they are all based either upon an alphabet or simplified like ABC, 
or upper radicals as for example for Chinese characters the three drops of water the simple standing person radical or the double standing person radical etc alphabet stands for all of those which are the basis of written words so too the Buddha's dramas are based upon these grounds because the Buddha's dramas are all produced from the ten grounds in the same way as all written words are based upon the, the alphabet. Sutra At that time, all the assembly of great bodhisattvas simultaneously and with a single sound spoke verses to Vada Treasury Bodhisattva, saying, Jew of superior wondrous wisdom undefined of boundless discriminating eloquence, please proclaim profound and wonderful words interactive with the foremost meaning. Commentary At that time, all the assembly of great bodhisattvas after moon of liberation bodhisattva had finished speaking his verses. All the great bodhisattvas of the ten directions they meet this like fine moons of dust simultaneously and with a single sound said the same thing at the same time. This spoke verses to Vara Treasury Bodhisattva saying Jew of superior, wondrous wisdom undefined. They said, Vara Treasury Bodhisattva, great disciple of the Buddhas that you are, you have already certified to the attainment of the most superior, subtle and wonderful wisdom that is pure and free from defilement. Jew of boundless, discriminating eloquence, which enables you to speak in great detail and with a great deal of principle. Please proclaim profound and wonderful words. We hope you will explain the unsurpassed, deeply profound, subtle and wonderful principles of the Ten Grounds interactive with the foremost meaning. The Dharma doors of the Ten Grounds are interactive with the primary truth. Sutra, you who mindfully maintain pure practices and as replete with virtues from Ten Powers, with eloquence to discriminate the meanings, Please explain the most superior grounds. With samadhi and precepts, joy to form upright thought, free from arrogance as well as death in view. This assembly has no doubts in mind and only wants to hear them well explained. As one thirsty thinks of icy water, as one hungry dreams about good food, as one sick reflects on wholesome medicine, as a beast greedy for good honey, so too, do we in just that way wish to hear these dramas of sweet do, good indeed, one of wisdom vast and great. Please tell us how to enter the ten grounds, accomplishing ten powers without obstruction, and the well done one's practices, one and all. Commentary Jew who mindfully maintain pure practices. All of these people are mindful of and cultivate all pure practices and are replete with virtues from ten powers. They all cultivate the Buddha's ten kinds of powers and amass all kinds of merit and virtue with eloquence to discriminate the meanings. Please explain the most superior grounds. We request the great Bodhisattva to speak the superior Dharma doors of the ten grounds with samadhi and precepts joined to form upright thought. All those, all of those listening cultivate samadhi and hold the precepts and they all have proper knowledge and proper views, free from arrogance as well as deadened view. They have no overbearing pride or arrogance nor any considerations of deviant views. This assembly has no doubts in mind. Those in the Great Assembly now have no doubts about the Dharma doors of the Ten Grounds and only wants to hear them. Well explained, they all wish to wish the Bodhisattva would speak the Dharma doors of the Ten Grounds. As one thirsty thinks of icy water, like someone hot and thirsty wanting to eat some ice cream, or perhaps drink a milk shake, or some other cold refreshing drink. As one hungry dreams about good food, they are also like a famished people dreaming of finding some bread to eat, or something to cure their hungry pangs, hunger pangs. 
They think of good things to eat, the finest good. As one sick, as one sick reflects on wholesome medicine, they are like sick people who think about the best medicine to cure their illnesses. As a bee is greedy for good honey, they are also like honey bees, which are greedy for the pollen to become honey and be ready for them to eat. But as it turns out, when the honey is ready, people come and steal it from them. So too, do we in just that way? All the bodhisattvas wish to hear these dramas of sweet dew. We wish to hear those dramas which quench thirst, satisfy hunger, cure sickness, and satisfy all one might all one might be greedy for. Good indeed, one of wisdom vast and great, they said. Good indeed, you of vast, great wisdom, Vara Treasury Bodhisattva. Please tell us how to enter the Ten Grounds. We would like you to speak the Dharma doors of the Ten Grounds, accomplishing ten powers without obstruction. You have already accomplished the position of the Ten Powers without obstruction, and the well gone ones practices, one and all, along with pretty much all of the practices of the well gone ones, the Buddha's great Bodhisattva, please very compassionately speak the dramas of the Ten Grounds for all of us Sutra. At that time, the world or not one from between his eyebrows emitted a pure light named Blazing Light of Bodhisattva's powers with hundreds of thousands of asamkiyas of light as his retinue, which universally illumined all the worlds throughout the ten directions, pervading absolutely everywhere. The sufferings of the three veil paths all ceased to be. It also illuminated the assemblies of all first come ones, manifesting all Buddha's inconceivable powers. It also illuminated the persons of all Bodhisattvas speaking Dharma with the aid of all Buddhas throughout all worlds in the ten directions. When finished doing that, it formed a great platform of nests of clouds of light high in empty space and remained there. At that time, all the Buddhas of the ten directions also in that way from between their eyebrows emitted pure lights. Those lights, names, retinues, and actions were all the same as that one's. Moreover, they illumined the Buddhas and great assemblies in the Sa world and the person of Vara Treasury Bodhisattva upon his lion's throne and high in empty space, they formed a large platform of nests of clouds of lights. At that time, within the platform of light, through the Buddha's awesome spiritual might, was spoken verses saying, Commentary at that time, right then, the world honored one, Shakyamuni Buddha, from between his eyebrows, emitted a pure light named Light of Bodhisattva's Powers, with hundreds, hundreds of thousands of Asamkhyayas of lights as his retinue. Asamkhyayas means limitless numbers of which universally illumined all the worlds throughout the ten directions. All the Buddha's worlds in the ten directions pervading absolutely everywhere. Nowhere was there a place upon which they did not shine. The sufferings of the three veil paths all ceased to be. The sufferings of the hell beings, hungry ghosts, and animals are all stopped. It also illuminated the assemblies of all first come ones, lighting up the assemblies in the Buddhimandas of all Buddhas manifesting all Buddha's inconceivable powers. They used the light to reveal the inconceivable powers of the Buddhas. It also illuminated the persons of all Bodhisattvas, speaking Dharma with the aid of all Buddhas throughout all worlds in the ten directions. It shone upon all Bodhisattvas, speaking with the aid of all Buddhas of the ten directions. When finished doing that, when that ceremony had been completed, it formed a great platform of nests of clouds of light high in empty space. In the sky above, it took from form as a great platform of nests of light and remained there. It settled there in mid-air. 
at that time all the Buddhas of the ten directions also in that way from between their eyebrows emitted pure lights called blazing lights of Bodhisattva's powers those last names retinues and actions were all the same as that ones the names of those lies their retinues and what they did were all the same as those of shakyami buddhas moreover they illumined illumined the buddhas and great assemblies of the Sa world in the countries of the other directions they emitted light and they also illuminated Shakyamuni Buddha and the great multitudes of this Dharma assembly in the Saha world, and the person of Vara Treasury Bodhisattva upon his lion's throne, along with the lion's seat upon which Vara Treasury Bodhisattva was sitting, and high in empty space in mid air, they formed a large platform of nests of clouds of light. At that time, within the platform of light, with a nest of cloud of light through the Buddha's awesome spiritual might. Due to the awesome spiritual power of the Buddhas of the Ten Directions and to the awesome spiritual might of Shakyamuni Buddha, Shakyamuni Buddha was spoken verses saying,